Hi, my name is Samir Malik. I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students here in the Austin, Texas area. Today, I'm going to show you how to shade inequalities by illustrating it on a graph. Now, shading inequalities is helpful for us to understand, especially when we're trying to solve for values of x and y. When we shade them, we're able to understand what our x values can be and what they cannot be. And keep in mind, when you shade, you need to start off with a straight line if you're including that number and a dotted line if you're excluding that number. So I'd like to illustrate this with a graph right now with, which has x and y coordinates. So here we have a graph with x and y coordinates and we're trying to say here x has to be greater than 2. And we're going to shade this as well. So we have our values of x here being 1 and here being 2. And we'll say x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So what we'll do is we'll draw a straight line going down all the way down, passing the x, and then we're going to go ahead and shade all this area right here. So this basically shows that any point going from 2 forward will be included and will make this particular equation through. true, because we've gone ahead and shaded this portion right here to the right of 2. So basically, if you want to include the number 2 for this particular graph, you would have a straight line. But if you want to exclude the number 2, for example, if it said x is just greater than 2 and not including 2, then you need to make sure you have a dotted line. This, is enable, this enables us to shade an area or a specific region on a graph to help us better, better understand values for a particular variable.